Hi, this is part two of the lesson on standard form, sometimes called scientific notation, sometimes called exponential notation. I'm assuming that you've seen and understood part one, because what we're going to do is based on it. And in this part, we're going to take a look at how to turn ordinary decimal numbers into standard form and vice versa. OK, let's start with a simple example. Supposing we want to turn 5243.1 into standard form. The first step is to write down the mantissa. Now you know from part 1 the mantissa must be less than 10 and 1 or more. It's got to be in that range. So we can say straight away that the mantissa for this number is going to be 5.2431 and it's going to be multiplied by 10 to some power and the question is what's a power? Well to answer that question look at the mantissa 5.2431 what do we have to do to the mantissa to get back to the original number? And I hope you can see we're going to have to multiply it by 10 several times if I multiply the mantissa by 10 enough times I get back to the original number and that will be the power of 10, the number of times we've got to multiply the mantissa by 10 to get back to the original number. Let's make it a bit easier for ourselves by putting some arrows. To multiply by 10, we simply move the decimal point one place to the right. I assume you know that. So if I multiply by 10, I move the decimal point one place to the right, that would be 52.43 move it again 524.31 move it again 5243.1 and I'm now back at the original number I had to move the decimal place three times to the right and that means I multiplied the mantissa three by ten three times that means the value in standard form is 5.2431 times 10 cubed that means multiply by ten three times Pause the video and make sure you understand what's happened. OK, here's one for you to try. If you want to pause, get pen and paper. Can you turn this number into standard form? Pause the video. I'll give the answer in a moment. OK, well we'd start by writing the mantissa. And to be in the right range, the mantissa has to be 7.77243 and that will be multiplied by some power and the question is how many times do we have to multiply the mantissa by 10 to get the original number and multiplying by 10 the first time moving the decimal place to the right once and again and again and again and again Eventually the decimal point will be to the right of the 3 and now we're back with the original number. Hope you can see we had to multiply by 10 5 times. We had to move the decimal point 5 times to the right. That means the standard form is 7.77243 times 10 to the power 5. Let's look at number less than 1. Can we turn 0 0.0012, did I say that correctly, 0 0.00012, can we turn it to standard form? Well, let's start by writing the mantissa. I hope you can see the mantissa will be 1.2. So the value will be 1.2 times 10 to some power. How do we work out the power? Well, in this case, to get the mantissa back to the original number, I hope you can see we have to divide the mantissa by 10 a number of times. If we keep dividing the mantissa by 10, we'd get the original number. And the number of times we have to divide by 10 is going to be expressed in the exponent here. It'll be 10 to some negative power because we're dividing by 10. Let's do it. It's a bit tricky moving the decimal point because we haven't got any zeros in front of the 1. So let's add some leading zeros in front of 1, 2 to make it a bit easier. 
So I've rewritten the number as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.2. That's the mantissa. And what do I have to do to the mantissa to get the original number? Well, the decimal point's here. If I divide by 10 once, the decimal point moves left. Divide again, decimal point left. Divide again, decimal point left. Divide again, decimal point left. And now I'm back to the original number with three zeros between the decimal point and the one. These three zeros, these three zeros here. So I had to divide by 10 four times. OK, that means the standard form representation is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4. Let's try one. Let you try one. 0 0.072. What is it in standard form? Pause. Have a go. Here's my answer. First stage is to write down the mantissa, which is 7.2. And the standard form value will be 7.2 times 10 to some power. To get the mantissa back to the original value, I'm going to have to divide 7.2, the mantissa, by 10 a number of times. So I'm going to have to move the decimal point left a number of times. Let's see. Let's make it easy by putting some leading zeros. 0, 0, 7.2 is the mantissa. I hope you can see if I move the mantissa once to the left, that's dividing by 10, and move the man uh, sorry, move the decimal point one space to the left, dividing by 10, and then do it again, and back to the original number. I had to move the decimal point two spaces to the left. That means I divided by 10 twice. That means the power of 10 is minus 2. The minus means I've divided by 10. The answer is 7.2 times 10 to the minus 2. What about the other way around? If I've got a number in standard form, how do I turn it to normal decimal form? And, well, it's very first example here is very easy. It's 8.6 times 10 to the 4. That's 10,000. So I could say 8.6 times 10,000. But the general method is to say, well, if I'm multiplying by 10 to the 4, I'm multiplying by 10 four times. So what I've got to do is move that decimal point to the right four times. To make it a bit easier, I'll add some trailing zeros after the 0 0.6. Move the decimal point one place to the right. I've multiplied by 10. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it four times, and that's a 10 to the 4 accounted and the decimal point would be here after the third zero 86000 zero, zero, zero point and we wouldn't bother writing the point in the final answer 86000 how about something like this 7.23 times 10 to the minus 6 what is this in normal decimal form it's the same kind of process we go through. When we multiply by 10 to the minus 6, it means we're dividing by 10 6 times. To divide by 10, I, multi I move the decimal point a place to the left. So to help us do that, let's add some leading zeros before the 7. And I'm going to divide by 10 6 times. I'm going to multiply, uh, I'm going to move the decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six times. And I hope you see what that gives us. It gives us zero point, and there's five zeros, seven, two, three. Final answer. Here's a couple for you to try. So pause the video, make sure you can do them. I'll show you the answer in a moment. OK, 6.1 times 10 to the 8. Well, we're merely multiplying 6.1 by 10 8 times. So we're going to move the decimal point 8 times. We'll add a few zeros after the 1 to make it clearer. And 6.1, move it once, move it twice, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that will give us this number. 6, 1, and seven zeros. We wouldn't normally write the decimal point at the end, so the answer is six, one, and seven zeros. 
And the other example was, what is 5 times 10 to the minus 7 in decimal form? Well, 10 to the minus 7 means I've got to divide by 10 seven times. So I've put the decimal point in after the 5 because it's not in the original number, but we need it. So there's the point. I've added some leading zeros in front of the 5. And all I'm going to do is divide by 10 seven times by moving the decimal point left to divide by 10. I'm going to do that seven times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that gives us our final answer. Zero point, well, there are six zeros and then the five. OK, I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. In part three, we'll see how 